Hello my friends and welcome to this video. In this tutorial we are going to download and install Hitify Clash on our computer. So stay with me till the end of the video. Stay tuned. Before anything, let's take a look at the Hitify's official YouTube channel where you can find many videos from the beginning of the installation of the panel on your very own server and use its configs on different applications on different platforms like Android, iOS and desktop. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any new videos. And also I would like to show you the GitHub page of Hitify. They have categorized all tutorials and videos back there. Videos from the beginning of installation and setup. And when you scroll down, you can find many other videos and even contents related to use different softwares on different platforms like Android. Softwares like on iOS and on desktop. So let's get to our job. See if you create a user with Hitify panel, it will generate a link that will redirect you to such a page like this. Here you can find all necessary information about your subscription. For example, here you can find how much traffic you have used or how much traffic you are allowed to use. And even here you see how many days left your subscriptions end. And also here you see different platforms. Here Android. The suggested apps on Android, iOS and even on desktop. You can find them here. So here we want to use Hitify Clash for desktop. So I will click on Hitify Clash. And as you see there are a bunch of options here. Windows, Mac and Linux. Apps environment in all operating systems is the same. But for installing the app on Mac, you need to confirm the program in the privacy section. And for installing the app on Linux, all you need is to give executable access to the downloaded app image file and run it. So here by clicking on Windows uh, icon, the process of download will begin. You can download the app by clicking on this icon. But I have already downloaded the file and stored it here. By double clicking on the file, the process of installation will begin. Here, hit the next, and here you can choose the location of installation path. I will leave it by default. And next, just hit the install and wait a second. And installation has been successfully done. By double clicking uh, on the app icon, I will open the app. So this is the environment of the app. Here you can turn the filter broker on or off. Here you can choose the language of the app, Farsi, English and Chinese. And also you can see the version of the app here. So. Let's import the subscription to the app. In the subscription panel, you have two sublinks, the green and orange one. The green mode is the light mode, in which case uh, only filtered sites are going to pass through the proxy. And Iranian sites or sites which are not filtered will not go through the proxy. And the normal mode or the orange mode will, uh, will send all your traffic through the filter breaker. So we're going to use the green mode, which is suggested. By clicking on this icon, the browser uh, will add the subscription to my app. Here I click on that and browser asks me if I want to open Hitify Clash and I grant it. Wait a second. And here you see the profile has been added to my app. In the Profile tab, you can see the information about your sub-profile. 
like usage and like the limitation of usage and even the ex uh, expiration date as you see it's here in the proxy section you can see all proxies and all configs which has been added from your sub profile by switching between different profiles these proxies will be changed according to your profile in the proxy section you can find three different tabs rule global and direct in rule tab we have three different options the proxy this mode will execute the proxies in the profile and connect to the first config that pings and here you can sort configs by location and here you can run a delay check the next mode is the automatic mode in this mode this mode will connect to the best config that has the lowest ping and the next mode is the sequential mode this mode will connect to different configs that has ping one after the other and will distribute your traffic load between these configs this mode will change the config periodically and the difference between this mode and the load balance mode is that in the load balance mode the app is connected to many configs at the same time but the sequential mode is only connected to one config at the time at which, and it will change it one after the other next tab is global mode in global mode you can find all of your configs which are related to your profile and you can connect to each of them which you desire and the next tab is direct mode the direct mode will send all traffic directly to the internet and won't pass through the proxy which means that you have never used the proxy and you have never turned the filter breaker on so the next section is settings the first option in the settings section is tune mode this mode will proxy all of your traffic through the filter breaker but in order to use this mode you have to run the app in administrator mode so let's just uh, run the app in this mode i will close the app completely and just by right clicking on the icon you can see run as administrator so i just click on that and the app is open so in the settings section i you can uh, switch on the tune mode and proxy all of your traffic through the filter breaker next mode is the proxy which you can switch it on to proxy only supported apps like your browser or telegram by your computer's default port and ip address which is 12700.1 and the port is 7890 by default the next mode is the auto launch this mode will run the app as soon as your computer is turned on the silent start will run the app as soon as you turn on the computer but won't notify you here you can enable or disable ipv6 and here you can change the default port for proxy and also here you can see the version of the clash core in this section all apps which has passed through the proxy will be shown here and this will be helpful for troubleshooting the rule section is related to the rules in in the imported profile which can be seen in this section and also here you can see your traffic graph which is related to the traffic passing through the filter breaker so i will uh, i will choose proxy in the proxy section and turn this switch on to turn the filter breaker on okay uh, okay let's uh, take a delay check from the in the proxy section here in proxies 
I will run a delay check and you can see my configs pinned which configs are connected or can be connect or which configs has no ping so let's just change the mode to auto mode to connect to the best config according to its ping so let's go to Hidify's YouTube channel one more time and uh, again don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so here I will find the video and open it to show you the connection speed and uh, let me just change the resolution to 1080p and as you see the speed is decent and it's better than great and here in the filter breaker you can see the graph showing the traffic going through the proxy and uh, I also want to show you the Hidify's telegram community where you can find many helpful uh, and great videos great uh, topics and so on and also there is an active English community which will help you to run your own server to accessing the free internet and you can find many of your answers here and at the end I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial and never hesitate to ask your questions and share, share your problems with us on our telegram, youtube or on github stay tuned